so welcome to my second video of Bella Reads and I'm going to be reading the second chapter of Spy Who Loves School Dinners so where is it oh yeah um so let's start reading yeah and just to remind you again if you haven't watched the first video then the author is Pamela Butcher The new girl. It all started when Miss Jones, that's our teacher, told us that a new people would be coming, would be joining our class, class, and that she would be French, and that she was French, and that she was from France, and that her name was Matilda, which sounds a bit like Matilda. But it doesn't. And we got, we all got really excited about about the new girl coming. It was even better because she was. Coming all the way from another country. Miss Jones made us do lots of French lessons before we filled the ride. And then she gave us all French dictionaries so we could look up all the words Michelle said and find out what they meant. Miss Jones said that Matilda was really good at speaking English and that she knew lots of English words. But she also said that we should try to use French words so that we could make Matilda feel more at home. And also to practice our French. I was really pleased when Miss Jones said that Matilda knew lots of English words because they're not very good at French, and they wanted to be able, to, and I wanted to be able to speak to the new French girl and ask her if she lives beside Disneyland Paris, and if she'd ever eat a frog frog's necks or snails. Blech. And Dad said she might have. Mum got annoyed at Dad. When he told me about the sales of the frog's legs, she said, Don't be that stupid. That's my dad. Just because someone's French doesn't mean they eat frog's legs. And then she said, That's like saying that because you're from Scotland. That's like saying that. That's like saying that. Because that's like saying you just because just because you're from Scotland, do you you had to wear a kilt all day? And then Dad burst burst out laughing and said, Never even had this in my life. And I hate my kilt. And then Mum said, Exactly. He threw a tight and socket down and walked away. Then Dad said that Mum was right and until didn't probably didn't eat frog legs or snails and that he'd only been joking and it wasn't really a funny joke but I decided that I was going to ask Matilda till, till about snails anyway just to be sure because we get loads of snails in our garden and I could collect them all in a box and give them to her because I don't really like the snails so I definitely wouldn't eat any of them I definitely wouldn't eat any of them so anyway on Friday, Miss Jones asked me to stay in a break to talk about Matilda's coming. Miss Jones said that she wanted me to take special care of Matilda when she got here and make sure she settled in okay. So I said that I would and I was really excited because everyone wanted to be friends with the new French girl. And I couldn't wait to tell Jack and Zach and Jodie and Maisie that I'd been the one picked to be in charge of her. Zach and Jodie and Maisie are my friends. Zach lives in the Flat downstairs from us, and Mum says we've been friends since we were babies. And then we've been friends with jo Jodie since the first day of primary school, where Jodie wouldn't let go of Mum's leg until me and Zach pulled the fingers away one time. And Maisie is a new friend, we weren't really friends with her until two months and one week ago, when we all went through a traumatic experience. Together when we thought Miss Jones was an alien. I used to think the music was a bit weird because she's always facing and stuff. And also because she's a bit of a scary cat. But now I think she's great. So anyway, I told everyone about how I was in charge of looking after Matilda. And Zach said that we could take Matilda to the den. But then Jodie wasn't sure in case Matilda told. The den is a secret room that nobody except for us 
knows about under the stairs and into the toilets. And it's where we have our secret meetings and stuff. Then there's loads of cool things in it, like chalk in the old days, and the sink, and even a kettle. We think it's where the old caretaker used to have his breakfast and have for the head teacher because he didn't like him. But now the old caretaker's retired and we've got the key. We don't block bother locking the door anymore because nobody except for us knows in the day we exist. And also because we lost it. Because we lost the key. I mean. So anyway, I said to Jodie that we would have to show Matilda then because Matilda let's stay with me at all times. And then I said that I had to come to the den to do important things like feeding the moth, making plans for the swimming pool we were doing behind the bike shed, and that Matilda would have to come too. And Jody could really argue with that. So he just said, okay, we, we made a welcome Matilda poster and put it up on the wall. up a bit and then we went all the dust off a bucket so that Matilda and I would chair to sit on and then we went back to class. So that is the end of my second video. I hope you liked it and please comment below and subscribe and comment I mean subscribe and comment below um for what book you'd like me to read next. Thanks. Below. Okay, bye.